morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Good morning, good morning, Elder Elect Karen. Good morning, Flower Bomb. Good morning. Good morning, Foster and Style. And good morning, Yolanda. Hello, hello, hello. It is the start of a brand new week. And I am excited. I'm excited. I'm excited with what God has been doing. <laughs> I hope that you already have woke up with the joy of the Lord in your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. It has been a wonderful weekend, and I hope that yours has too. In spite of the tests and in spite of the trials that God brings us through, listen, we have a lot to smile about. We have a lot to smile about and we have a lot to thank God for because he is great and he is gracious. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Tasha. Good morning. Good morning. And happy birthday, Tasha. <laughs> I hope that you had a wonderful celebration. I pray that you did and that God's spirit moved in your life in the midst of your birthday. Good morning, Beverly, all the way from Connecticut. Good morning, good morning. As you come in, go ahead and sound off where you are tuning in from. Good morning, Vivian. Good morning, your smiley face. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Lynette. Good morning to you. Good morning, Danny. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. <laughs> great big god bless you to all of you on friday on friday we prayed and we talked about the divine protection of god we talked about the divine safety of god and so guess what <laughs> i couldn't even scratch the surface on everything so on today we're going to do part two <laughs> part two good morning michelle good morning Good morning. Yes, they're coming in with the hearts. That's right. That's it. Give it up for God. Give it up for our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, because he is the one that we give all glory and all honor to. <laughs> we thank God for how it is he continues to watch over and to keep us in his keeping care. I'm so excited about your week. I'm excited about your week and what God is going to do for you and this great week ahead this is the week of love <laughs> listen we know we feel the love of god all the time but this is the week of love we know we're coming up on love day so i got my little earrings on y'all and i uh, look i'm gonna be wearing them all week so y'all can talk about me wearing my earrings every day okay but these are my love my little love earrings to remind you of the love of god in your life and how he loves you so much there's absolutely nothing you can do to fall out of the love of God's protection and his divine safety, okay? And so listen, 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 our scripture today, our scripture today is gonna come from Psalm 27, one and two. Psalm 27, one and two, and listen, listen, listen. For those of you who do not know, I'm Pastor Sean, leader of the Part Purpose and Faith Global Community on Facebook and even on IG. And I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about that. But listen, listen, listen. I hope that you have been able to watch some of the videos and some of the spiritual inspiration that I have on my page. And if you haven't, go back and go ahead and binge watch and allow the Spirit of God and His Word to encourage you, to lift you up, to strengthen you, because we walk by faith and definitely not by sight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So uh, listen, Psalm 27, 1 and 2. This is Divine Safety Part 2. Divine Safety Part 2. And it reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength or the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the evil men advance against me to do devour my flesh when my enemies and my foes attack me they will stumble and they will fall that is our scripture today psalm 27 1 and 2 
And listen, 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 I don't know about you, but God's divine protection protects us every single day, whether we acknowledge it or not. But I listen, I want to just take the time right now to go ahead and acknowledge God and his greatness and his mercy and his kindness for protecting us and keeping us safe and keeping our families safe. So go ahead and put it in the chat. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead and show the Lord how grateful you are that, listen, that he, listen, he's like our 24 hour protection. He's our 24 hour, listen, safety. You think, huh, listen, don't you dare think that alarm in your house or in your apartment or wherever you are, listen, is the one protecting you. Yes, it does help and give us a little, you know, timer if something's going on. But let me tell you something, the divine protection of God cannot be replaced by anything that man could possibly have. Amen. Yes, I see you. I see you. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning. Good morning, Ronnie. Hello. 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 Good morning, Fab 50. Hello. I God bless you. I've been praying for your family. I hope that you all are doing okay. God bless you, Fab 50. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> yes. So listen, listen, listen. God is the true source of our protection. God is the true source of our, our protection. And listen, listen, listen. As I was meditating this morning, the Lord said that there will be someone on here today that needs encouragement. They're at their lowest point and they don't know where to turn. And I'm my, my assignment today is to remind you that God is with you. That God is with you. Don't look at the way that the, the circumstances seem to be playing out because God has the last say. God has the last say and he's going to be your strength and he's going to be your comfort and he is going to be your protection in this time that you're going through. So listen, don't allow the tears to get you misguided. Don't allow the tears to fall and get you all focused. God says, listen, he's with you wherever you may must go in this next season. And so I hope that that is something that is encouraging you as you walk this walk. You know, I, no one has a perfect life. No one. No one has a perfect life. They may act like they have a perfect life. They may be posting those pictures like they have a perfect life. Let me tell you something, honey. <laughs> Listen, life is a journey. Life is a journey. And there are some times that we're going to be up on the mountaintop and everything is going to be fabulous. And then there are going to be times that you're going to be in the valley and it's going to seem like uh, that you'll never be able to climb out of the situations that you're in. But just know that God is in complete control. And I hope that this morning that this scripture starts off, our scripture starts off by saying, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And hold on to that. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. And he is your light. When it looks your darkest, when it looks like things will not turn around, when it looks like you're down to your last dime, when it looks like you won't be able to take care of the responsibilities of life, I want you to just know that the Lord is your light and that he is your salvation. And it then goes on to say, whom shall I fear? <laughs> you shouldn't have to fear anything that man has here on this earth. OK, and listen, God is our protection. That word protection means, listen, 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 keeping something or someone from harm. Hmm? He is your protection. Somebody put it in the chat. He is my protection. He is my protection. Listen, he's going to keep you from harm. He's going to keep you in his, safely under his wing. We found that out on Friday. He's going to keep you safe. He's going to shelter you when the storms are raging in your life. Ah, hallelujah. When the storms are raging in your life and you're like, Lord, how will I get through this? How will I get through this, God? And listen, listen, the, the Lord says, I have a plan and I have a purpose. And our job is just to trust him. Our job is just to trust the Lord mm, with all your heart. Go ahead and put it in the chat. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Yes, Beverly, he is your guardian angel, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He moves with you. He walks with you and he talks with you. Hallelujah. And he is your divine protection. Hallelujah. In the midst of any test, in the midst of any trials, in the midst of any slanderous things that may be going on in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so listen, listen, listen. Divine protection is an assurance 
a surety and assurance as believers that God protects us. Mm? He is our light and he is our salvation. Mm? Mm? And it says the Lord is the strength or the stronghold of our lives. And listen, what does that mean? What does that mean, stronghold? What does that mean, stronghold? That stronghold means he is a defensive structure. That means he is a defense against any evilness of the enemy, any tests, any trials, any tribulations that are coming up against your life right now. Just know that God is your stronghold. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, come on, put it in the chat. He's mine, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine. The Lord is the stronghold of my life, it says. Of whom shall I be afraid? Don't you be afraid of what's coming up against your life. You stand strong knowing that God has it in complete control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Beverly, he will hide you under the shelter of his wings. Yes, Francis, the Lord is your protector. Yes, he is. Yes, Facebook user, I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Yes, Elder Renata, divine protection is an assurance and he is a defense against evil he is a defense against every evil thing that the enemy tries to bring up in your life listen the enemy's job is to get you discouraged the enemy's job is to get you off focus the enemy's job is for you to miss your season mm. hallelujah hallelujah but listen 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 i want you to know that god loves us so much that listen even when we're not on guard he's on guard even when even when we're not on guard he is on guard okay yes he is yours tasha yes 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 michelle he fights your battles listen our patterns of obedience to the commandments of god is what protects us hmm? we do our part he does his part our part is to obey his part is to protect our part is to trust his part is to be uh, allow us to be in safety hallelujah Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know about you, but I live, listen, in the greater New Orleans area, and it has been absolute lawlessness lately. Every time you turn on the TV, something's going on. Somebody's getting carjacked. Somebody's house is getting uh, invaded. Listen, there's so many. And so I know even in your parts of the country and even the world, listen, it seems like the enemy is getting a foot up, but the devil is a liar and the truth is not in him. It is on us, the soldiers of God, to pray. And we're going to be praying heaven down for the protection of the people, for the protection of families, for your protection your own personal protection hallelujah don't you dare leave your house without thanking god for his protection don't you dare move your car without saying lord as i go about today god be before me encamp your angels about me encamp your angels about my children today as they are in school hallelujah come on somebody put those hearts in the chat and show the lord some thanks <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah yes beverly pray over your family Yes, pray over your family. Pray over yourself. Pray over your health. Listen, God's divine protection. Listen, listen, it's yours for the asking. Yes, yes, Vivian. Don't watch that TV. Yes, I know. Oh my goodness, it's something else. Good morning, Arana and Blush Beautiful. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're going to be praying God's divine protection and safety yet again today. If you missed the the uh, broadcast on Friday, you need to go back and watch it and allow that prayer to permeate your life. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor E. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So we know that God is a stronghold. He's a strong tower. And listen, 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 and listen, listen, listen. That word salvation, the Lord is my light and my salvation. He is a light in your dark path. He is a light to light the way of what you should go and what you should do. Hallelujah. Listen, and he is the strength of your life. That means, listen, don't worry about being weak in this time because when we are weak, God is our strength. Hallelujah. I just wanted to encourage you this morning. I wanted to encourage you this morning because listen, it says when evil men, 
advance against you. It doesn't say if evil men, it says when they do, because you know, listen, listen, unfortunately, listen, we live in a world, listen, as long as the enemy can get someone to assist him, he, they will. And, and listen, it could be those closest to you. It can be those closest to you that will speak words from their mouth that will cut you down will cut you down to the core. It is the ones that are closest to you that will betray you, betray your trust. Listen, listen, listen. It's not that person though. It's not that person. It's the principalities and the powers of the evil one, which we know is Satan. And listen, if he can get someone close to you to betray you, if he can get someone close to you to hurt your feelings, if he can get someone close to you to do something against you, if he can get you, your mindset out of, listen, trusting God, that's for somebody this morning. Your mindset kind of wandered for a minute and you began to waver in your faith. And I want you to know this morning that God says, uh, get focused because in this season, I don't care what it looks like right now, but you will be blessed. You will listen, accomplish the things that I've called you to do. You will hallelujah. Walk the path that I have for your life. You will hallelujah. Place your will in my will. Hallelujah. Because it's when we place our will in the will of God is when doors open. It's when we place our will in the will of God. Listen, 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 that we have breakthrough. It's when we place our will with the will of God. Hallelujah. I don't know why I'm going this way. I don't know why I'm going this way because we're supposed to be talking about protection and divine safety. But listen, the spirit of the Lord is speaking to you this morning. The spirit of the Lord is speaking to you this morning. And he's saying it's a area of obedience that is in your life that is holding you back. You have not been obedient in a particular area. I don't know who I'm talking to. And I don't even know the area. But I know that God is saying, listen, it's time to get focused. It's time to get focused in order to allow his spirit to move on your behalf. It is time for you to bring all things to obedience to his word to what he's called you to do it's time to place your will in the will of god and then everything else the divine protection the divine safety the prosperity will come the favor will come the doors will open the windows will open and pour you out blessings that you won't even have room to receive huh? hallelujah Hallelujah. Listen, listen, we many times we want God to do his part, but we're not doing our part. We're not doing our part. If we want God's divine protection, listen, listen, listen. We can't be willy nilly just acting like, oh, I'm going to just go ahead and do this anyway because God's going to protect me. No, that's not how God operates. And yes, many times he will because of his mercy and his grace. But listen, listen, listen. Many times we miss out on the blessing, the overwhelming blessing. Because listen, you might get a little blessing here or there, but I want the overwhelming blessing of God to listen, to manifest in my life. And I know that you do too. Go ahead, put those hearts in the chat. Prepare the atmosphere for God to move on the line this morning. Hallelujah. Go ahead, put those hearts in the chat. Listen, God wants our obedience. He wants our obedience. And listen, and it's when we step out by faith hallelujah, that we see his miracles and his signs and his wonders. I don't know about you. Who needs a miracle this morning? Go ahead and put a two in the chat because we know two is a number of agreement. Hallelujah. And I want to agree with you this morning that the miracles of God will overtake your life. Thank you for those hearts. For those of you who do not know, the hearts are a sign of our love for God here in the community. When you see those hearts, we are preparing the atmosphere for God to move. We are preparing the atmosphere for prayer because God is a great God and there's none like him in all the earth. I see those hearts and I see those twos. I see those twos. If you need a miracle from God, put those twos in the chat. Yes, because God wants you healthy. He wants you whole. He wants you prosperous. But listen, listen, listen. Many of us, many of us, we got to be obedient. We got to be obedient when God is speaking about our finances. We got to be obedient when God is speaking about our health. We, we got to be obedient when God is speaking. Listen, and giving us assignments to fulfill. And listen, listen, listen. That spirit of procrastination this year is not going to make it. That spirit of procrastination is not going to make it. We're going to kick it in the butt this morning. We're going to kick it in the butt this morning because we want God's divine protection for what's to come. We want his divine safety over our business, over our finances, over our hearts, 
over our marriages, over our relationships. Hallelujah. We have to do our part. We have to do our part. Hallelujah. I see those two still coming. Keep those twos coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray God's miracles over your life, but I'm also going to pray God's obedience over your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The strength to obey, the strength to obey. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hmm? There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. As you begin to walk in the obedience of God, watch the blessing of God overtake you. Watch the blessing of God overtake your family. Listen, you need God to open doors. Hallelujah. You need God, uh, hallelujah, to provide like never before. You don't just need physical protection. You need spiritual protection from the wiles of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I come to remind you, don't you dare leave that house without thanking God for his protection as you go. Don't you dare get out of that car or move that car or whatever it is you need to do. Listen, listen, listen. You must stop and say, Lord, as I leave this place, God, allow your protection to be all over me. Allow your protection to be over my children. Allow your protection to be over my parents. And even as you leave that house, if you have to leave family members in that house, you pray God's protection over your home. You pray God's protection over your family. Hallelujah. 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 Don't you dare go about life, especially in this dispensation of time with the devil huh, going crazy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But honor the Lord with the fruit of your lips and say, thank you, Lord. Because we all could be in a, in a worse position. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So listen, somebody go ahead and put thank you, Lord, in the chat, because Lord, we love you and Lord, we honor you and we praise your name and we give you glory and we give you praise. So listen, 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 the 24 hour protection of God. Hallelujah. The 24 hour protection of God. I need you to go ahead and read Psalm 27, one and two to yourself again later today, because that is our scripture for today. But in the meantime, God is going to allow me to pray for you. God is going to allow me to pray for you. Pray his blessings over your life. Pray his divine safety and his divine protection over your life and pray his obedience over your life. Listen, obedience produces the blessing of God in our lives obedience produces that obedience produces blessings not listen not just tangible blessing but spiritual blessings hallelujah 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 thank you lord yes sheila good morning thank you lord thank you lord yes we bless your holy name god so you know how we do it here in the community we're getting ready to pray we're getting ready to pray hallelujah listen you must know that your pattern of obedience to the commandments of God is what protects you. Your pattern of obedience to the commandments of God is what blesses you. Allow the blessings of God to flow in your life. Hmm? Hmm? Because he not only protects us physically, but he protects us from sin. And he protects us and he leads us. And when we're, listen, when we're under the divine protection of God, it leads to happiness. It leads to joy. Somebody put joy in the chat. Put joy in the chat. Somebody, listen, go ahead and encourage your sister, encourage your brother this morning that the joy of the Lord is your strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And so we lean on you today, God. Hallelujah. Here in the community, we get ready to pray. We turn off every TV. We Listen, there are no distractions when we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you're in a noisy room, go ahead and step out into the hallway. Take your bathroom break. Get into your car. Close the door. Hallelujah. Turn off that TV. Turn off that radio. Anything else that is distracting you from hearing the Lord right now. Hallelujah. I saw so many tools. People need miracles. Hallelujah. We need miracles from God. Some One is standing for one thing. Someone is standing for someone else. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, just go ahead, place your hand over your heart as a sign of Lord, my allegiance to you. Hallelujah. Because we know that God has an allegiance to us. But listen, put your hand over your heart. Lord, as my allegiance to you, we're not perfect, but we're trying. <laughs> we're not perfect, Lord. But in this season, God, we're going to run after you like never before. In this season, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to try our best in every single area of our lives. Hallelujah. 
Thank you. Yes, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, how we honor and we adore you. Lord, we love you with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and with all of our mind. But yet so, God, with all of our strength. And so now, God, in the name of Jesus, we just want to say thank you this morning. Thank you for a brand new week, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, that as we look upon this week, God, we see you. <laughs> we see you in all things, God, in the name of Jesus. And so, God, as we look to you, God, we look to you for your wisdom. We look to you for your knowledge. We look to you for your strength. We look to you for your love, God, in the name of Jesus. And so we thank you, Lord God, for being our God. <laughs> Thank you for being our strong tower. Thank you for being our stronghold. Thank you, Lord God, that we can trust you when we cannot trust anyone else. We can trust you, God. We can trust you to be our father. We can trust you to be our friend. We can trust you to be all that we need, Lord. And so now, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that we are speaking because you said, God, whatsoever comes out of our mouth can be life or death. And so now, God, in the name of Jesus, we speak life, hallelujah, to every dead situation. We speak, Lord God, that the fire of the Holy Spirit will, Lord God, rest, rule, and abide in our lives like never before in the name of Jesus. And so even now, God, as we come before you, praising and worshiping and lifting up your name only because, Lord God, you are great and you are powerful and there's none like you in all the earth. And so we call on the name Jesus, the name that is above every name. We call on the name Jesus this morning because there's power in the name of Jesus. There's strength in the name of Jesus. There's comfort in the name of Jesus. There's passion in the name of Jesus. There's compassion in the name of Jesus. There's justification in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, thank you for giving us a spirit of joy this morning. Thank you for giving us a spirit of joy. We're not going to worry about what we're going through. We're just going to place it at your feet, God. And now, God, as we're smiling, and now, God, as that heaviness is being lifted, and now, God, as we praise your name, and now, God, as we lift you up, and now, God, as we call on the name of Jesus, it is the blood, the blood, the blood that never loses its power. Thank you for the blood that saves us. Thank you for the blood that raises us. Thank you for the blood that heals us. Thank you for the blood that creates the miracles of our lives. And so now, God, in the name of Jesus, we speak life into every dead situation. We pray right now, Lord God, that those dry bones will live, hallelujah, in our lives. And so we thank you, Lord God, that as you blow on those dry bones in our lives, God, that, Lord God, everything that is dead will come to life and it will be to your glory and it will be to your honor and it will be to your praise because you alone are worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy, you're worthy of the glory. You're worthy of the honor and you're worthy, uh, worthy of the praise. And so now, God, as we blow trumpets from our own mouths, God, giving you glory, as we speak your name on the top of every mountain, hallelujah, and even in our valley days, God, we still yet give you glory and we still yet give you praise because Lord we are still living here on this earth which means God that you have a purpose and a plan for our lives you have a purpose and a plan and we will fulfill it we will place our will in your will we will place our hand in your hand we will trust and obey we will trust and obey because there's no other way God and so on this morning God we just want to say thank you for bringing life hallelujah into our hearts into our minds give us a spirit of excitement, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your safety. We thank you for your undying love for us, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, God, spark that fire again in our salvific experience, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We're covering, Lord God, each and every person on this line. Lord, somebody's going through a storm, Lord God, and the storm is raging. The storm is like a tornado. The storm might be like a hurricane. The storm might be like an earthquake but lord god there's nothing too hard for you and so we're laying it at your feet god we're thanking you for miracle signs and wonders lord someone needs a miracle in their health somebody needs a miracle in their finances somebody needs a miracle lord god in other areas of their lives and so now god in the name of jesus we trust that there's nothing too hard for you and so we're laying it at your feet god 
in the name of Jesus. We're asking you to move on their behalf, God. Give them victory, Lord God, in those areas that they stand in need of. Give them victory, Lord God, in those areas of the secret sins, Lord God, that nobody else knows about, God. In the name of Jesus, we speak deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we speak the strength of the Spirit of God in their lives to overcome them, Lord God. No matter what it is, God, it doesn't matter because you love us, you love us, you love us, you love us, you love us. You love us no matter what we do. You love us no matter what we say you love us whether we're murderers you love us whether we're liars you love us whether we're adulterers you love us whether we're sneaky people whatever it is god in the name of jesus i pray that you will deliver us god in the name of jesus allow us to rise up and be obedient to your word obedient to your commandments obedient to your voice god in the name of jesus lord god in the name of jesus i pray that you will strengthen i will pray that you will strengthen the spirit of every christian lord god to rise Rise up, Lord God, and be, Lord God, all you call them to be in this season. Don't allow the sin in our lives to hold us back from doing things that you called us to do, God, in the name of Jesus, because there is therefore now no condemnation unto them who are in Christ Jesus. And so we accept your, Lord God, assignments. We accept, Lord God, your words in our mouth. We accept, Lord God, the assignments that you called us to do. And so now, God, in the name of Jesus, the same way you love us God we're gonna love on you <laughs> hallelujah God we're gonna love on you God we're gonna tell you thank you in the morning we're gonna tell you thank you in the noonday we're gonna tell you thank you in the evening we're gonna tell you thank you as we go out and we're gonna tell you thank you when we come in and we're gonna tell you thank you thank you thank you God give us grateful hearts yet again God some of us have gone cold Lord God in the thank you department some of us gone cold God in the grateful department but Lord in this morning and in in this hour and in this moment, God, allow your spirit to touch hearts right now, to touch minds right now, to touch spirits right now, to touch situations right now. Turn around situations for your good, Lord. Allow your miracles, signs, and wonders to follow. Hallelujah. And as we're obedient in our finances, as we're obedient to your word, and we're going to do our part so that you can do your part, God, in the name of Jesus. And so we bless your name. And so we give you glory. And so we give you honor. And so we give you praise. We thank you for covering us with the feather of your wings. Hallelujah. 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 Some of us, Lord God, you have kept us from this dying from this COVID. You have kept us from catching this COVID. You have kept us, Lord God, over these last two years coming up in the name of Jesus. And so we ask for your glory to be our defense. We ask, Father God, that you will, Lord God, calm the seas, Lord God, that are raging in their lives, that you will calm, Lord God, the winds that may be blowing against the situations of their lives. Uh, give them peace in the midst of the storm. Give them peace in the midst of the turmoil. Give them peace in the midst of the betrayal. Give them peace in the midst of the bitterness. Give them peace in the midst of the unforgiveness. In the name of Jesus. And we come against every spirit that holds us back. In the name of Jesus, we come against that nasty spirit of procrastination. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Lord, you said that we will be prosperous people and people of riches, but we must do our own part, God, in the name of Jesus. So we're going to step out in this season and we're going to step out and allow you to do all that you you have promised us in the name of Jesus. And so we thank you, Lord God, that even as we take refuge in your strong tower, God, Hallelujah. We're going to run in and be safe. <laughs> We're not going to take your safety for granted. We're not going to take your protection for granted. We're not going to take your promises for granted. We're not going to take, Lord God, your love for us for granted. We're not going to take your word for granted. We're not going to take your forgiveness for granted, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so we thank you, Lord God, that you are a shield and you are a buckler and you are a hiding place, God. And so we bless you today, God. And we pray, Father God, for every spirit that tries to rise up against our future hallelujah we are going to put our foot on the neck of the enemy in the name of jesus we are going to be strong soldiers oh god and we're not going to be afraid of the attacks we're not going to be afraid of what the enemy may bring because we are going to allow you to be our shield we're going to allow you to be our buckler we're going to allow you to fight our battles in the name of jesus and so now god we plead the blood of jesus over every single family represent 
represented on this line and even in the rebroadcast in the name of Jesus. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you are protecting even managers in places of employment in the name of Jesus, that you're protecting workers in every place of employment. You are protecting people that are in their homes, Lord God, minding their own business, Lord God. We come against, Lord God, home invasions. We come against burglary. We come against rape. We come against carjackings. We come against all the spirits of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And we send it to the pits of hell from whence it came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Lord God, we're going to remember to anoint ourselves as a sign of your power. We're going to remember to anoint our homes as a sign of your power and your presence. We're going to remember, oh God, that you are our strength and you are our song and you are our master and you are our savior and you are our lawyer and you are our doctor. Hallelujah. We're not going to believe the reports of the world, but we're going to get on our knees and we're going to allow our faith to activate in this season. We're going to allow our faith, oh God, to be our guide in the name of Jesus. And so we thank you, Lord God, for increasing faith like never before. We allow you, God, into our homes, into our lives, into our hearts like never before. And we'll be careful to give you all the glory. We'll be careful to give you all the honor. We'll be careful to give you all the praise. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, God, that you are the truth. You are the way, the truth, and the light. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And you said, no man comes unto the Father but by your son, Jesus Christ. And so we call on the name of Jesus this morning. We call on him, our Savior our master forever hallelujah hallelujah glory to your name god glory to your name god come on put glory in the chat glory to your name god hallelujah 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 glory to your name god thank you for your exceeding love thank you for your exceeding power thank you lord god for how it is god that you will send breakthrough to their lives that you will send a spirit of obedience over their lives that you will send the spirit of deliverance over our lives God. Allow us not to be captive to the sin of the enemy. Allow us not to be captive to the wiles of the enemy. Allow us to stay focused on you and focus on what you have for us. Allow us, oh God, to walk worthy, hallelujah, of the blessings that we desire in our lives. And so now, God, as we end this prayer, but never end your presence, help us, Lord God, to stay prayerful throughout this day. Help us to stay prayerful throughout this week. Help us to stay prayerful in all that we do. Uh, that it might give you glory, that it might give you honor, that it might give you praise. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that spirit of joy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for that, that someone came in frowning, but now they're smiling. Thank you, Lord, for lifting up every burden. Thank you, Lord, for not allowing us to worry about tomorrow because we know that you already have it in your hand. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for promotion in this season. Hallelujah. I speak promotion over the lives of your people in every which way it can come. I speak it on the job. I speak it in their personal lives. I speak it in their spiritual walk. I speak it in their finances. I speak it. I speak it. I speak it. Promotion all over whatever area they need promotion in. Hallelujah. Promotion in ministry. Hallelujah. Promotion, promotion. The Lord says promotion in this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord. Ha, we thank you. We thank you for encouraging us this morning. We thank you for covering us this morning. We thank you for defending us this morning. We thank you for delivering us this morning. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 Come on, put those hearts in the chat and let the Lord know how much you love him hallelujah hallelujah listen you're not in this by yourself i don't know who that was for but listen you're not in this by yourself god's got your back god's got your back and everything that he has promised will manifest hallelujah everything that he has promised will manifest in this season that's it we don't rush out of the presence of god we just began to worship him right there in the chat. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Because he is our king. He is our Lord. And he is our master. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Love you, Shari. Hallelujah, I receive it. Yes, yes, receive what the Lord has for you.
receive all that the Lord has for you. Stay encouraged, hallelujah. We do not look at the things that are seen, but we look at the things that are unseen because we trust in God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so listen, I want to say a great big welcome and thank you for those who have started our 90-day transformation. We had our first uh, orientation class on last week. And listen, for those of you who have not done it yet, you know that the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to you. Listen, listen, I am not giving these classes because, listen, because... I just want to do something. I'm giving these classes because God has given me an assignment to help. And for those of you, you know that the Lord has been tugging at your heart to get in that class. Listen, that transformation class is not just about credit. It's about mindset. It's about mastering your money. It's about, listen, building wealth. It's about so many other things. And listen, listen, for those of you who have not signed up, I'm going to give you another chance to sign up. So go ahead, click the link in the bio. Listen, it's only $47 a month. And listen, if you want, listen, if you want the riches of God, and you can't trust God for $47 a month, then listen, mm, it's time to change our mindset. Listen, it's time to change our mindset. I've been doing this for over 25 years, helping people, helping businesses grow, helping personal people with their personal wealth building and credit. And listen, listen, I promise you, it is the spirit of God that's tugging at your heart. So go ahead, click the link in my bio today. Trust God so that your life can go to a whole nother level financially. You have to do your part. And when God, you do your part, God does his part. God does his part. So God bless you and God keep you. God bless you and God keep you. I love you with the love of Christ. And I will see you again on Monday on Wednesday, <laughs> on Wednesday, this is love week. So I want to see you guys go ahead and post and tag me in your love post toward the Lord. If you're posting scriptures or whatever it is you're posting, I want to hear from you. I want to hear you. I want to see you commenting on my page. I love to see your names. And I listen, I go back and I read them. I read, I read the comments and I like them. And sometimes I have time to comment, but I want you to know that I love seeing you all interacting in the groups and even on my page. So go ahead, listen, share my lives because someone needs those prayers. Somebody needs those prayers. Somebody needs to be strengthened. Hallelujah. So God bless you and God keep you. Have a wonderful Monday. This is my prayer.